Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is the second day of Astro Season on December 30th, and I initially wasn't planning on posting any more videos this year, but I do have some spare time before school starts up again for me, so I thought it might be fun to just bring you guys along for a couple more matches this week. So, in terms of defense, we have another fully wiped team. It's I feel really bad for them, but it also feels nice to see because it means my team is working as intended. And yeah, so let's just get it right into the offense match for the day. Not me not checking if I had my kits equipped. All right, so Claude has his arena kit equipped. That's fine. Hopefully we don't need pulse smoke here. It looks like we're not going to need pulse smoke here. All right, so kind of an armor team, but there's no bold fighter or anything. So I don't have to worry too much about it. Oh, Ashnard in the corner. Interesting strat. I'm just going to have to enemy phase him with Claude. All right, and the pots shouldn't be too bad to get just because Ashnard is stuck in the corner. Okay, so uh, maybe a Versa? Do they have any visible buffs? Kind of, just speed waves and defense wave. I guess that kind of counts. What is it, even speed wave and odd defense wave. So it doesn't really matter what turn I go in. We're gonna use Aversa because Aversa did not get her chance to shine yesterday. I do think at least Aversa has her yeah, she has her kit equipped. So it's just Claude. That's alright. <laughs> okay, I think we can literally just go in turn one here. Or I guess I could wait until turn three until my bolt tower hits and then snipe Grail. Yeah, I think I might do that. That's the safe thing to do. And the rest of the people I'll just set up. And Claude should pretty easily be able to snipe Grail after he's taken that 40 damage. Let's just double check though. Yeah, okay, he can almost take him out even now, so. And Thersir won't be much of a problem, I think. She will be in brazen attack speed range. Actually, will she? Because they have a 35 HP healing tower and my bolt tower is 40. So I don't think that counts as brazen range. Let's see what happens if I do this. Okay. So that was the fake trap, Over not like here. it matters. And I'll just get out of the way with Regan and just wait until next turn. Does this kind of count as a theme team? Because Grail and Ike, I don't know, but it's cute. All right, one shot. And then we could gamble on this trap. I don't know if there's much of a benefit to doing it, but Today's a sloppy day anyway, because I forgot to change the skills, so let's just do it. Alright, that's fine. Not a big deal, because Plumeria is still hidden. So yeah, I'll just do this. And I was going to break the Aether Pot with Regan, but then I realized that that means Ashnard goes free. And I don't really want to see Ashnard going free, because this guy, especially with attack defense solo, is really scary. This turn should just be people suiciding into Claude. Yep. Even in Thrasir bonus week, Claude is just so strong. And Ike no longer has armor barge, so he's not much of a threat. Can Regan take him out? No, Regan cannot take him out. Hmm. That's a little bit disappointing. I guess his defense is just really high. Fairly high. Um, okay. I'm, I'm gonna do what is called a galaxy brain play. Do this. And then... Oh, Plumeria. Her... She is hit by the bolt trap, so... Okay. I'm going to do this with Regan. Smite Plumeria up. Dance with Plumeria. And then, yeah. I was thinking I could take out Mira. I could do that here. I think I will. And then maybe a verse I can get the kill against, uh, against Kane. Let's 
Claude's healing is just like one of the best in the game. I think it might be the best in the game. You just can't match it. Oh, it's actually gonna be Bernie who gets the kill. Wonderful. She does kind of need more SP, even though I will probably be foddering her off at some point anyway. And then we're just gonna snipe the rest of the structures and eventually make our way to Ashnard. And I do want to make sure I get to Ashnard on time, because this guy is hard to kill, and he's not weak to uh, arrows. If I put Altina here with gold flyers, he should kill. Okay, wonderful. I actually don't run any kind of visible buffs on Claude in Astra Season. I just find that running goads and wards is just so helpful to help him stack those non-visible stats. And it means he's not soaking any kind of shrines, which is amazing. Okay, this matchup looks pretty good. I just want to make sure I get this pot first. Alright, so Bernie's gonna get that pot. Versa can snipe this, and then I'm just gonna take this, and then I'm pretty sure Claude will be fine against Ashnard. Ashnard's really good in enemy phase, not so much when he has to be the one in player phase. I'm actually not sure if Claude can one round him. He still can't one round him, even in enemy phase. That's just how good he is. But sorry Ashnard, but we're finishing this right now. That's a nice one. Ashnard is such an underrated unit, and I feel like people are starting to realize that, and I've seen more and more of him being built. He, with Disencounter and Guard Bearing, this dude is pretty much impossible to kill. Definitely impossible to kill in one round, unless you're like a blue mage like Reinhardt, who can probably kill him. Anyway, so that was a nice offense match to start off the day. Unfortunately, I was a bit sloppy, so I apologize for that. I just completely forgot that I had my arena kit equipped on Claude. But the nice thing is, the only thing that's really different on my arena kit with Claude is I'm running Rally Attack Defense Plus instead of Reposition, and I'm running Joint Drive Res instead of Pulse Smoke. So thankfully that wasn't an infantry pulse team where I would have needed the Pulse Smoke. I may have been in trouble if that was the case. But let's watch the defense result, because I haven't watched it yet. All right, so first off, they have a full bottom row of structures. That bodes really poorly against facing my team because you don't really have anywhere to hide people. Then the units who they're using, aside from Selkie, are pretty much player phase units who, it's unfortunate, but like player phase units don't do much against my team. So let's see what happened. I'm assuming they tried to bait in several places and it just did not work out. Oh, and they do have a tactics room, which is hitting Reinhardt. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately this is not gonna work. Selkie has seven defense. I don't think that she can even take, like, two hits from Python. Because I do think he doubles her after he gets restored from Veronica. And Selica, I guess, can probably take a hit from Claude? I guess we'll see. So Veronica restores. Claude is too busted, confirmed. Oh, I forgot he has lull, so the speed buff that Selica has didn't matter at all. I'm sorry, Selica. I'm sorry. And now what? I'm assuming Python. Yeah, Python is just not the best matchup for Selkie with her 7 defense. Oh, that was New Year's Selkie too. Hopefully they're happy about the rerun. Oh. And then Veronica's gonna restore Reinhardt, and he's gonna go snipe Ranulf. Restore Plus is just so strong. I honestly did not even realize that it got rid of the Tactics Room movement debuff. And then Thrasir is gonna come in and Wings of Mercy, although not strong enough to take out Plumeria, because Plumeria is red and has very high resistance. So what are they going to do here? I'm assuming they're going to snipe someone with Regan. Oh. <laughs> you often see Thurseer killing Naga, but not the other way around, so it's fun to see. I do really like Naga's dragon animation. I think it looks really cool. 
And now who's she gonna take out? Oh, she can take out Claude, too. Naga's day to shine. Can Regan even take out Reinhardt? Wow, she can't even take out Reinhardt. I love how Reinhardt is just so tanky. Look at that, 38 defense. Thanks to Thrasir for her defense buff. Alright, and from here, I assume Reinhardt's gonna snipe Regan. So first, Python's gonna snipe Naga. That's kind of rude, Python. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna snipe Plumeria. He quads Plumeria? Magic is yes, magic is everything, my friend. <laughs> and now Regan, what's she gonna try to do? I guess gamble on the trap. And then at this point, because it was the fake trap, although even if it was the real, tra even if it was the fake trap, my bad, I don't think they would have been able to win at this point, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Salyu. I hope you had enough ladders to take that loss. But it is nice to see- it, it's weird, I feel like I simultaneously feel bad when I see people lost to me and I hope that, you know, they have ladders and everything, but it also feels nice to see my defense team working as intended, so. I guess that's it for today's AR video. It was pretty short, the offense match didn't take that long, so let me know in the comments how your week is going, if you've run into any weird teams or any interesting teams and how your defense is doing and yeah thank you guys for watching and have a great day